Hello, my name is Stephen Norton and I am the artist in residence at the Anglican Episcopal Church of the Ascension in Munich, Germany. Some of you have been asking, what does the artist in residence do when working from home? So in this video, I will show you my office. This is my console, which was built to my own specification by the local organ builder, Orgelbau Caps. My console has four manuals or keyboards, plus the pedal board. The manuals and pedals each control a different division of pipes. Within each division, there are multiple groups of pipes. For each group, there is generally one pipe for every note on the keyboard. Different groups produce different sounds. Some pipes work like a recorder. Others like an oboe. A thin pipe sounds stringy. A fat pipe sounds more fluty. A pipe made of tin or zinc has a strong, clear tone. A pipe made of lead is more gentle. And a pipe made of wood is mellow. We don't always want all the groups of pipes of the division to sound at the same time. The organ therefore has stops to stop a group of pipes from playing. To make a group of pipes sound, such as this group called viola da gamba, I pull out the stop and its pipes sound. Sometimes when playing, I don't have a hand free to change the stops. In that case, I can use a finger, or a thumb, or a foot to press one of these pistons, which change the stops for me. The pipes in two of the divisions are enclosed inside a wooden cabinet called a swell box. The box has a set of shutters that can be opened with this pedal to let more sound out or closed to make the sound quieter. So, that is my console, but where are the pipes? The pipes you are hearing are part of the organ in Salisbury Cathedral in England. That organ was built in 1877 by the famous organ builder Henry Willis I, fondly referred to as Father Willis. So how does it work? Well, from the 8th to the 13th of June 2009, a team from Milan Digital Audio spent each night in the cathedral making multiple recordings of every one of the nearly 4,000 pipes. When I draw a stop and press a key, you are hearing an audio recording of the relevant pipe. The ability to play back the entire organ in real time is made possible by software called Hauptwerk, which is written and developed by Martin Dyde and Brett Milan. It runs on a normal computer. My console is connected to the computer and the computer replays the recorded pipes via a set of speakers. So, that is my home office. In the next video in this series, I will present more technical details on my Hauptwerk hardware. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click on the logo. Thank you for watching.